it's Melanie. I'm back with another kind of DIY. I want to show you guys my coffee cart and what I did to kind of make it its own space. Some organization stuff, you know, whatever. All right, guys, so this is my new coffee bar space. If you've been with me for a little while, you may have seen my old coffee bar space, which was right over there. And I had a dresser that I had bought for my kitchen so I can put a bunch of storage in because I did not have a lot of storage in this house. It's a very small house. And then I put some shelves up top. I loved it, but then I decided I wanted a kitchen nook, which is a totally different video. So I had to move my coffee somewhere else. So this is where I moved it. I'm going to give you a tour and some things. It's not exactly like the best setup because I already had this up here, which is my favorite, my pride and joy. My babies make me these pictures. I'm not gonna take any of this down, I love it. So it didn't really give this like designated space to kind of go up. So I had to just kind of like stay within my limits and I tried to do that. I also have another card over here. I'm gonna show you guys how I organize it too. All right, so I'm gonna take it down off of the, uh, that's not a pedestal, but you guys can totally be a pedestal if you want. Um, a, uh-huh, a, why can't I think of the word? Oh my goodness, the tripod. I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod and I'm gonna show you guys what I got set up. Set, set what I, uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm done. All right guys, here's kind of a closer look at it. Now, some of these things I still have to redo. I'm gonna make some DIY soon. The kitchen cart itself, we've had for a little while, for a few years actually. I'm gonna have to resurface it because this is paint, this is a marker, this is paint. I should not be letting our children do art projects on this, but I do because I didn't have a kitchen table um, to do them on for quite a while. So we just did use this, you guys, but it still works. It's still clean. I'm going to have to redo a, like a little redo of it soon. Right now we're actually using this for silverware. Um, I need to put the silverware away. Yes, I know we are currently just now putting everything away. So this is where the silverware will go. Um, and we put our chopsticks and our plasticware over there. And then over here, I'm not sure what exactly will go here, but so far I got straws because I'm trying to keep everything for the drinks over here. So straws are part of that. Um, under here has always been, yes, it's so super scratched up. I've got to redo this. Um, it's always been like snack bins for the kids. So if they want to get their own snack, they can, they don't have to like come and get me. I swear this is not dust. See, not dust. It's just, it's really beat up because I've had it painted for a while. I think I'm going to redo it guys. I started trying to like sand it. I really like the way this looks. So that might be a thing. I don't know. I'll have a DIY when I do. All right. So anyway, back to the organization section. I found a tray because Pinterest told me that if you keep everything contained in one tray, it looks nicer. Totally agree. But if I had a nicer tray, that would totally be better. I've had this tray since college and I graduated college <clears throat> 10, 10 years ago. So I'm old. But anyway, what I want to do is like uh, redo this. So I think I'm going to get some contact paper and redo it. Um, I'm going to have to give you guys an updated when the size it looks much better. I got to redo some paint here. See where I have some chipping right here? Yeah. But that's the old paint as well. That's down more because it was a creamier color and then a red color. Anyway, you guys, uh, where were we? These jars from Ikea. Love these. Love these guys. The airtight jars. I have so many of these for everything. I love these so, so, so much. Black tea in one, green tea in the other one. This one, I'm not sure what this will be. I may put some extra sugar in here. Um, most of my extra sugar is with my baking supplies. So I'm not sure if I will or not. And then all my K-Cups are in this guy right here. And then this basket is for extras. So hot chocolate during the winter time. I'm probably going to put some packs here or I may just dump it into here so it looks nicer for the kids like with the scoop. Instant breakfast, you guys, is where it's at. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm totally about instant breakfast. If you pour one of these into your coffee, you have cappuccino and it has a little bit of vitamins in it. I usually put like one scoop into my uh, breakfast coffee um, just so it has a little bit of a nice flavor um, in the morning, a little bit of vitamins. Just, just try it, guys. Don't knock it. Please try it. It's so good. I like the vanilla. You may also like the chocolate. Um, some signs. I tried to bring this together. I already had these up all the way up there. And I want to add something. See how that's kind of like bl blank? Let me zoom you out. Bam! So normally I would want something, you know, to kind of 
take up this space right here. But this already takes it up. So I have these two things. I think I need to add something here. Maybe I don't want to like make it too cluttered, but I want this to kind of come over to like this. So we'll see how that goes if this is where everything decides to stay. This is from the dollar spot at Target, the Bullseye's Playground. It was three bucks. And this was a dollar at Dollar Tree. So is this, by the way. And I love that sign so much. This line, if you're wondering, is just uh, from Ikea. And I started putting these on them instead of the little metal pieces that come on it because they keep sliding. Uh, this is also from a dollar spot at Target. This is... Oh my gosh, you guys, if you've never used a tea kettle, 10 out of 10 recommend. My mom always had one and I didn't understand the point because you can just like boil water. But this guy is a total lifesaver. Just, just get, you got it. It's really awesome. This is scratched up paint. Guys, I have so much DIY to do. This is scratched up paint from where uh, there was something here before. So I don't know if I'm going to repaint the whole thing. Oh, shadow, Melanie, geez. Or if I'm going to put like a picture there, I don't know what I'm going to do. Over here is my second kitchen cart. These are from Ikea also. You can get them at Michael's. You can get them at Target. I flip and love these things. And then I put Dollar Tree, da -da 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 -da, uh -huh, Dollar Tree baskets in them. And on the top here, I have some of my extra drinks. So like ensure whenever the kids, uh, after breakfast, they'll have like a milk with one scoop of ensure, one scoop of Ovaltine. Here's some extra hot cocoa, extra bags of tea. I'm not a... 100% how I'm going to keep this. I'd like to update the baskets. If you guys have suggestions, let me know. And then this is our new bench. And the cat's already getting hair on it. Can you see? And then that's my blender um, that hasn't been put back away yet. I keep it in the basket. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Let's kind of... Oh, I'm still like zoomed out. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? I do need... I want to paint this light switch black to match everything else. I want to add maybe something there. I need to redo the surface of this. Maybe sand down. See how I sorted that one? I think it's going to look cool. I hope so. And then um, resurface this. I might stain this part because now it's like the yellow natural wood. I would think it would look better if I would stain it um, like a darker color. Maybe. We'll see. And then this I might switch out the baskets. But so far that's what we have. My little coffee bar area. It's not like I had, I really, really liked that old uh, coffee bar setup I had up, had, uh-huh. But um, I just, I like the way that this is because I have to have the space over there for my table. But that is it. If you have any suggestions or questions, let me know. I'll link what I can below. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. Okay. <laughs> so that is it. If you guys, oh, hi, Mac. You say hi. Dad, pretty boy. Dad. Hi. All right, guys, that is it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to link some of the stuff below if I can. If you have any suggestions, I would love, 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 love to know. And that's it. Say bye. You say bye? He's like, Mom, why are you talking so loud? Bye, guys.